Uh, good morning. In front of the library, uh, a little bit of excitement going on here this morning. Uh, first of all, uh, I get here and there's some people out here discussing uh, this art or this actually it turns out advertisement and uh, as it turns out let me see. okay and this is in front of the bust of Nina Killian Peace who was a judge here in Ashland okay so this thing appears and people are kind of wondering about it and and I didn't know but uh, a girl just uh, earlier this week was <laughs> her car and her uh, they were hit by a train uh, a few blocks down the street by the uh, the college baseball diamond and as it turns out she was trying to uh, beat the signals you know beat the crossings and she got hit by the train and I guess uh, it, the train pushed it drug it whatever for a couple of blocks so that was going on and it come to find out this uh, statue you know with the prison garb and all the mannequin and the uh, give me uh, railside law uh, as it turns out, that's a law office just right down the street here. And, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they may have well just put a, a friggin' toy ambulance there with it. I mean, that, that's some pretty, pretty, uh, for, for these upstanding individuals as lawyers and such, uh, that's oxymoronic, but, uh, you know, advertising like that. Uh, you know, and I remember when they passed laws that lawyers could start advertising. And I don't think they need to. I don't think they should be. But anyway, that's another story. And then uh, after that, I'm sitting here, and a few minutes later, and this man and this woman, I see some people walking across the tracks and up the alley, and I hear some, you know, uh, not yelling, but some loud voices, and they were... Uh, it was a man telling this woman to give him his money, give me my money. And the woman, she was saying, get off of me, get off of me. So I got up and I went and looked. And this guy, for whatever reason, uh, he's trying to get it, apparently get some money from this woman. And uh, he's kind of harassing her. And actually, I would have considered it assault if... Uh, if I was some kind of uh, peacekeeper or whatever. But uh, so anyway, that happened and police came and they went, they eventually ended up over at some apartments that are close by. So, but the reason for this video is that I wanted to uh, expand upon this paper that I wrote and posted earlier this morning called. Uh, entangled relatives and what it pertains to is the entanglement of particles or objects uh, and over dis vast distances you know for I guess across the universe or maybe outside of the universe and could be in other dimensions and this is something I wanted to bring up that these entangled particles uh, could very well, this entanglement could very well uh, help us to understand and comprehend uh, multi-dimensional travel as well as uh, time travel uh, and travel between and amongst uh, multiverses. Uh, it seems very very, seems like a pretty common sense kind of thing to me if things are, are uh, entangled you could take a bit of something of somebody or somebody's relative that for instance that may have been abducted uh, uh, 
this uh, biological, biometric uh, material that's supposedly taken by uh, these beings, uh, taken from uh, human beings that have claimed to be abducted or what have you. And I think this could go a long ways as far as explaining uh, some of these extrasensory experiences that people have had. Uh, you know, past lives maybe, uh, future lives, uh, being able, you know, saying they went to the uh, Pleiades or, you know, something like that. I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying that this could very well explain uh, a few of those phenomena that have happened. Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, it's kind of opened up a new, new vista for me. Um, and yeah, I'm, so yeah, I'm just trying to expand upon that and thought I would pass it along. So you all have a great day, have a blessed day. Uh, be careful crossing the railroad tracks, pay attention, use your better, your better uh, senses, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.